Hello, you're here with Phil Pye, the ocean science guy. Phil, Phil. Phil. Today, we're here to talk about biodiversity. First and foremost, there are three types of biodiversity. Genetic, species, and ecosystem. Genetic biodiversity explains how we all look different. For example, these two hermit crabs here, they may be in the same species, but they possess differences in shape, size, and coloration. These mutations have given hermit crabs various abilities for survival. If perhaps a disease wiped out the entire hermit crab population, then the predators that feed on them would be wiped out and have no source of food. This would cause all those predators to die, and so on and so forth, until the entire food chain collapses. What people don't realize is that how much people rely on the ocean. What, Jamie? You don't know what species biodiversity is? The world has one huge ocean full of tons of different species of fish. In coral reefs alone, there is more than 4,000. I don't believe that. That's crazy. It is just so huge, and without it, we would not be able to be here. Also, if there's only one single species of fish in the ocean, we would not be able to sustain ourselves. I see. All the life within the ocean is diverse, and it has to be. If one animal dies, the predator of that animal has to develop new eating habits in order to survive. Exactly. Due to evolution, biodiversity has increased significantly, but man, as a force in nature, has had oil spills and other problems that have significantly decreased biodiversity. However, there is one more type of biodiversity. Ecosystem biodiversity. This includes the many different ecosystems and all the life within them. If one ecosystem were to become ruined, then all the life within it would either die or have to change their life. Without the ocean, or the life that lives within the ocean, our world would be a very different place. Jacques Cousteau.